So yesterday I had a little oops with my <coughs> dump trailer tailgate. <coughs> it let loose. It's been pretty rotted. <coughs> my old trailer's rotted, but I paid 500 bucks for it five or six years ago now. <coughs> and all I do is haul garbage with it. So I've definitely got my money's worth. So today I'm going to come in here and I'm going to notch this out and replace this bottom beam. This is still pretty good solid metal. It's just the bottom. Actually, it's just that corner really. This side's still in pretty good shape. So I'll take the angle grinder and cut off wheel and cut through here and leave down here. And I'm going to leave that so I can cap off the new piece. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So now that I've got the old bar <coughs> cut out on both sides, I'm going to draw a measurement and cut out a new piece. Guys, if you watch any of my other videos, I once in a while talk about Harbor Freight tools. Some of their tools aren't really all that bad, and this is one of them. It's their bandsaw. It's a drop-down model. You literally just turn it on. Set it down, and when it finishes cutting, it shuts itself off. And there we go. All fitted, welded. I just threw some cheap Rust-Oleum paint on it to slow the rusting down. I live in New York. It's going to happen. If I would have wire-wheeled those welds they would actually look a lot better once I put paint on it, it kind of looks like crap but I don't care it serves its purpose <coughs> the tailgate works as it should the spreader picture would work if I needed it to I've never used it because like I said as you can see I don't even think this trailer would hold stone anymore it's rotted too much, but it holds garbage great. And that's what I do. I see even gaps. Almost new. Get another ten years out of it.